Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now, today's video is going to be an update video on one of my favorite ant colonies in the entire room, the Lyomatopum apiculatum. Now, in my opinion, this colony did not grow as much as, you know, I'd hoped for in, when it comes to a new update video, but they deserve a new update because they haven't been shown off in this uh, channel for a good while now. As you can see in the footage, they have a lot of their bicolored workers now. Uh, in the past, in the last update video, they only had a few of these bicolored workers, but now they're pretty much the only worker that you will see in this video, besides from maybe a few that are just purely black. Also since the last update video, you didn't really see that many majors, but now the amount of majors is staggering. Uh, the colony has been going so, so well. It's honestly surprising me. This is their second outworld, and you can see how absolutely packed it is with workers just foraging and looking for food. Here is the inside of the nest. This is their AC hybrid nest, which has became their main nest now. Uh, as you can see, it is absolutely packed. Here's where they peep all their eggs. There's a way more than just that. They are all sort of on the walls where I can't really get a shot of them. Uh, there's the queen. I'll have them point out, point that out right there. Um, the colony has just been absolutely exploding uh, in population a little bit. Well, they just started exploding in population. Um, it's just shown how fast that they can actually grow within such a short amount of time. When they got this colony, they started off with about 40 nanodicks, and that was a few months back, and now they have to be at least two to 3,000, maybe even more. And a little fun fact is that this colony is the only colony in my entire collection right now that has yet to escape. These ants have probably been the easiest to contain, probably because of them being a bigger ant. Here you can see all the beautiful brood of the colony, I'm sorry about that glare, my uh, flashlight was a little bit in the way and I for some reason didn't move it, but you can see a large amount of larvae and small larvae and pupae, pretty much sizes, all sizes of brood, just all together in these little chambers here. Here's a shot of the nest. This is the entire nest and you can see that it is pretty active in there. It doesn't look like there's a lot of ants, but also I just disturbed them so they're all sort of trying to, you know, get away from this nest. But still, it's pretty good. Here is the first outworld. You can see that they did a little bit of redecorating, but also you can notice that there is a lot of sugar water test tubes. If I do not give them this much sugar water, the colony will collapse. They are well known for doing that, and it's a thing that I really want to keep uh, not happening, so I gave them a lot of sugar water. And here's the nest that you cannot see right now. Uh, let me, you know, quickly... Good, there we go. As you can see, the nest is not that packed, I'm guessing because all the other ants are up on the second story at the moment of the, uh, you know, the AC hybrid nest. But, you know, I can't really complain, because eventually I might end up disconnecting that nest from that setup. Anyways, that is gonna be it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, and, uh, subscribe if you're new. It's always good to get a little bit more subscriber count up there. <laughs> Um, very close to 300 subscribers, about halfway there. So, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.